Hey guys, I'm Dr. Kayla and yes, I've seen your questions in my inbox be it on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube. So today, in this new series called Ask Me Anything, I'm going to answer all your questions once and for all. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out the next episode. If you have any questions when you're watching this video, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below so that I can answer them in the next episode as well. Alright, let's get to the first question. Queen C asks, any toothpaste or brush recommended for bleeding gums? Which brand of electric brushes you recommend for bleeding gum? Well, bleeding gums can be caused by a lot of factors, but the most common cause will be gingivitis or gum inflammation. Gum inflammation is caused by plaque buildup, which can be removed by proper toothbrushing technique. I usually recommend my patients to get a soft bristle and small-headed toothbrush so that your toothbrush can reach into the back of your mouth, thus helping you to clean your teeth better. How to choose your toothpaste? Look for an active ingredient called fluoride. Fluoride can help strengthen your teeth and fight tooth decay. Electric toothbrush is not a must to clean your teeth properly. However, it can help to increase the efficiency in toothbrushing. It is usually recommended for young kids, old patients or special needs patients who have dexterity problem and trouble controlling their hand motion, thus leading to difficulty in toothbrushing. Janet asks, how to prevent frequent plaque buildup at lower teeth area due to not aligned set of lower teeth? Like what I've mentioned, proper toothbrushing technique is important in removing plaque. It can be a bit difficult to brush this area, so what you can do is to angle it to brush like this and swipe out and up so that you can clean the surface properly. You can learn more from this video. Interdental cleaning, which means cleaning the surface in between your teeth, is important as well. You can use floss, water flosser, or interdental brush to clean these surfaces properly. If your teeth are mal-aligned or messy, you might want to consider orthodontic treatment or braces to help correct the alignment of your teeth, thus helping you to brush easier and better in the long run. Chin Tang Fong asked, Do you brush and floss your teeth after every meal? Well, contrary to what people think, most dentists I know do not brush or floss their teeth after every meal. Or maybe it's just me? For me, I don't brush or floss after every meal. In fact, I brush once in the morning and once at night and I only floss after toothbrushing at night. In fact, overbrushing can bring more harm than good. When we brush too hard excessively, it can actually wear down the outer protective layer of our teeth called enamel, leading to problems like hypersensitivity when we drink hot or cold water or when we do this. <sighs> It's best to wait 30 minutes after you eat before you brush again. See, right after you eat, the bacteria will actually break down all this food and produce acid. Now that your mouth is in an acidic state, the enamel will be temporarily softened or weakened. If you brush during this phase, your teeth might worn off even faster, causing toothbrush abrasion. The pH level of our mouth will usually be restored to a healthy level 30 minutes after our meal, so be a little bit patient. It's good for our teeth in the long run. Yvonne asked, is scaling good for our teeth? <laughs> How frequent is recommended? Well, our regular toothbrushing can remove plaque, however, it cannot remove all dental stones or calculus. Dental scaling can help remove these stubborn dental stones, thus relieving gum inflammation. It can also help clean your teeth from plaque, which can lead to tooth decay, so yes, it is good for both your teeth and your gums. You should get dental scaling done twice a year. In certain patients with severe gum diseases, we might advise them to get scaling done more frequently, which can be every six weeks or three months, depending on your case. Melanie Wong 89 asks, will pregnancy cause gums to shrink? Melanie, this is an excellent question. Well, pregnancy gingivitis is a common condition. It is a form of gum inflammation in pregnant women due to the increased level of a hormone called progesterone. Some symptoms of pregnancy gingivitis include gums which are red, swollen, tender, bleeds easily or receding. If you suspect that you have pregnancy gingivitis, you should get a checkup with your dentist as soon as possible and get any necessary treatment done. You should brush your teeth properly and eat more vegetables. It can help stimulate saliva flow which can wash away all those dirty plaque and it can bring you a better health as well. Janelle LPS asks, any way to make triangle black hole disappear? Jane, if what you're referring to are these black triangles at the neck of your tooth, you are not the only one. 
most people are concerned about these black triangles. The way to treat it is first to identify what are the causes. Black triangles in between your teeth can be caused by several factors like gum diseases, age or habits like smoking. This can expose the root area of your tooth leading to problems like hypersensitivity or tooth decay. If your tooth is triangular in shape or what we call a fan-shaped tooth, the tendency to have black triangles is higher as well. How to treat these conditions? If you're having gum diseases, taking care of your dental hygiene can help restore your gum to a healthy level. You may also want to consider hyaluronic acid injections or minor gum surgeries like a free gingival graft to help correct these black triangles. Some dentists may recommend veneers or fillings for a fan-shaped tooth to help reduce the appearance of black triangles. You should consult your dentist to get the best treatment option for your condition. That's all for today. I really enjoy answering all your questions, so if you have any, don't be shy, drop them in the comment section below so that I can answer them next time. I'm Dr. Kila and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!